today we'll be speaking to Kushi Vora, who's a intern and currently working in financial analysis, and she's doing a dual degree, a B Tech at NMIMS, along with a MBA in technology management. So to start off, Kushi, could you tell us more about the courses you've been taking in this integrated program and uh, how the experience has been? Yeah, so this is a five-year program. In the first three years, we were introduced to the computer science fields like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and other technical courses. Like uh, I had also taken up IBM ka joint course in which they taught us in deep about the neural networks, deep learning, and all of that. And after that, I did my internship at Airport Authority of India to gain the technical exposure and technical expertise on field. After that, my MBA started in the fourth year and we were introduced to the finance subjects, operation subjects, HR subjects and after that we have to choose a specialization. So I selected finance as my specialization. So currently I am working on HDFC capital to pursue my further uh, domain specialization. Thank you so much for that. Another question I have is you also have the option of doing a normal bachelor's degree as opposed to an integrated degree. So okay. what advice would you give to a student looking at both options? Why should they choose an integrated degree? And what tips would you have for them if they were to apply for an integrated degree as opposed to a general bachelor's degree and then uh, go ahead with the application? Got it. So if we talk about the integrated course, I feel that people have a stigma around it that uh, it's a diploma, it's not a dual degree, but it is actually a dual degree, we will get two separate degrees and also we will save time. Like if I had done a normal bachelor's degree and then my master's, it would have taken me six years. Now I completed that in five years. Uh, so yeah, regarding uh, that is there and also I got the opportunity to do two internships. If I had taken like separate or uh, only a bachelor's course, then I would have taken a job for one, two years. Then I had done my MBA. I, I would have to apply for an exam, then go into an MBA college for two years again. So it would have taken a lot of time, like seven to eight years until I graduate properly. And now I graduated in five years with two internship experiences. So I feel this is a huge difference that people don't understand. Thank you for that. Another question I have is, MBA and even bachelor degrees, uh, admission requirements are becoming tougher and tougher. So what tips would you have uh, to a student looking to apply to NMIMS as a university, uh, deemed to be university? And what tips would you have for them to stand out in the application process? To stand out in the application process, firstly, you have to be confident about your skills. And secondly, you have to research about what are the current trends and the upcoming trends in the next 10 years and develop your skills that way and be confident in them. I think that is what I did. But yeah, that's all from my end. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. It was great talking to you, Sean.